Can I Afford It? is about more than just having the immediate funds. It's a deeper inquiry into your financial health and future. Can you make this purchase without jeopardizing your savings or racking up debt? Will this buy come at the cost of a more pressing financial need or goal? Are we supporting brands that practice fair labor? Do we prioritize eco-friendliness? Does a purchase help further our personal or professional aspirations? No matter how minor, each buy can be a step towards building a world we envision or endorsing values we hold dear. Have you ever thought about what stands firm when everything else falls apart? Hey there and welcome back to Money Craft Masters. While the world around us can be unpredictable, there are pillars in the industry that remain unshaken. Today, we're diving deep into these evergreen sectors, revealing the mysteries of their resilience. Stay with us to uncover where stability lies amidst the chaos. And if you're as excited as we are, hit that like button, share this knowledge, and ensure you're subscribed with notifications never to miss out. In the vast expanse of economic history, we've seen empires rise and fall, markets soar and crash, and businesses flourish and falter. These cycles of growth and recession are as old as trade itself. Yet amidst these unpredictable waves, specific industries have stood out, seemingly untouched by the prevailing winds of economic change. Why is that? Is it because these sectors provide essentials that we can't do without? Or is it because they've continuously evolved, adapting to the times and emerging stronger from challenges? The truth is, it's a mix of both. These industries possess a unique blend of resilience and adaptability. As we set the stage for today's discussion, it's crucial to understand that while no industry is entirely recession-proof, some have a knack for navigating storms with an enviable grace. The reasons are multifaceted, rooted in their foundational principles, the nature of their services, and their ability to pivot and adapt. The lines between wants and needs have increasingly blurred in today's world. With aggressive advertising and the lure of the new, it's easy to fall into the trap of believing we need more than we do. Pausing to ask, do I need this, is a simple yet profound exercise in introspection. It challenges us to evaluate our motivations. Are we purchasing to fulfill a genuine necessity or merely to quench a momentary desire? Is it the allure of a sale, the pressure of social conformity, or the promise of fleeting happiness? The power of this question lies in its ability to foster conscious consumption. It prompts us to prioritize, reduce wasteful spending, and genuinely understand the difference between essential and optional. By routinely seeking the answer, not only do we safeguard our finances, but we also pave the way for a more intentional and contented life. Right on the heels of discerning need comes the equally vital question, can I afford it? In an era where credit is just a click away and the temptation to buy now, pay later is rampant, it's essential to understand the true implications of this question. Can I afford it is about more than just having the immediate funds. It's a deeper inquiry into your financial health and future. Can you make this purchase without jeopardizing your savings or racking up debt? Will this buy come at the cost of a more pressing financial need or goal? By genuinely reflecting on this, we move from impulsive buying to empowered spending. This question encourages wise financial choices, prompts us to live within our means, and fosters a sense of financial responsibility. It's about resisting a purchase and understanding its place in our broader financial narrative. In nations in a marketplace brimming with options, innovation, and incessant upgrades, it's easy to feel overwhelmed. Once we've determined we need a product and can afford it, the subsequent challenge is deciphering which version or brand truly aligns with our needs. Enter the pivotal question, is this the best version of this product for me? It's not always about buying the most expensive or the most popular item. It's about understanding our unique requirements and ensuring the product fits the bill. Does it serve its purpose effectively? Is it durable or will it need frequent replacements? Are we paying extra for features we might never use? Dictating time to research and compare might seem tedious, but it's a practice that often leads to more satisfaction with our purchases. By critically evaluating products, we not only get better value for our money, but also reduce the chances of buyer's remorse. Remember, the best product isn't universally best. It's what's best suited to you. As you fill your mental shopping cart with these insights, if you find value in any item, don't forget to check out with a like. Want to stay updated with our latest stock? Hit that subscribe button. 
And if you feel someone else could benefit from our store of knowledge, share this video. Every thumbs up, bell ring, and share helps us keep these aisles full of valuable content for you. We've all been there, drawn to a shiny new purchase, convinced it'll revolutionize our routines, only for it to be relegated to a corner, barely touched. This brings us to our subsequent essential inquiry. How often will I use it? An item's value isn't just in its price tag or utility. It's in its frequency of use. A pricey item you use daily can be of better value than a cheaper one used once in a blue moon. By contemplating usage frequency, we shift our focus from mere acquisition to actual application. Will this purchase seamlessly integrate into our lives or add to the clutter? Visualizing our future interactions with a potential purchase can be illuminating. It helps filter out fleeting fascinations from genuine utilities. After all, the goal isn't to own a lot, but to make the most of what we own. In the grand scheme, it's not about collecting, but connecting with our belongings. Our purchases become more than just transactions in a world increasingly conscious of sustainability, ethics, and purpose. They're reflections of our beliefs and aspirations. This takes us to our final introspective question. Does it align with my values and goals? Are we supporting brands that practice fair labor? Do we prioritize eco-friendliness? Does a purchase help further our personal or professional aspirations, no matter how minor? Each buy can be a step towards building a world we envision or endorsing values we hold dear. Every dollar we spend is, in essence, a vote. A vote for practices we'd like to encourage, products that resonate with our ethos, and futures we'd love to see manifest. Being conscious of this makes us more responsible consumers and imbues our belongings with more profound meaning and intent. Remember, true contentment often arises when our actions mirror our convictions. In our journey to make meaningful purchases, a bonus strategy often gets overlooked. Can I borrow or rent it first? This approach brings a touch of wisdom and patience to our consumption patterns. Before committing to ownership, testing an item can give us firsthand experience of its utility. Will that novel be a cherished reread or a one-time adventure? Does that high-end gadget enhance productivity? Or is it just a novelty? Renting or borrowing provides a low-commitment avenue to make informed decisions. Embracing this mindset not only saves money but also promotes sustainable living. Fewer impulsive purchases mean reduced waste and a more eco-friendly footprint. In the process, we might just discover community resources and networks that enrich our lives far beyond the material. As we navigate the complex labyrinth of consumerism, our roadmap is often found in the questions we ask ourselves. We've journeyed through five, well, technically, six crucial queries today, each acting as a beacon, guiding us toward more intentional and meaningful purchases. Do I need this? Can I afford it? Is this the best version for me? How often will I use it? Does it align with my values and our bonus wisdom? Can I borrow or rent it first? These aren't just questions. They're pillars of conscious consumption, ensuring our buying decisions resonate with purpose, value, and sustainability. Each question propels us towards being not just consumers, but wise stewards of our resources, champions of our values, and curators of lives filled with genuine contentment. In a world overflowing with options, Let's choose to be discerning, informed, and, above all, intentional. As we wrap up today's journey through the maze of conscious consumerism, it's clear that the real power doesn't lie in the sheer act of purchasing, but in the intent, understanding, and mindfulness behind each decision. Our purchases have ripple effects on our well-being, our communities, and our planet. By integrating these questions into our shopping routines, we're not just buying items. We're crafting stories, building legacies, and making impactful choices that extend. Thank you for joining us on Channel Name today. In the comments below, share your personal buying mantras or any other questions you ask yourself before making a purchase. Let's grow, learn, and evolve together. Before we part, if you found value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with your circles. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button along with the bell icon to stay updated. Remember, every mindful choice makes a difference. Until next time, shop wisely and live intentionally.